you know it's funny how you can be a really seasoned developer but still stumble upon things once everything leaves your browser dev tools and goes to the network layer i'm talking about things like debugging networks mocking apis or intercepting network responses and everything which comes in between which sometimes might make you question your profession or your sanity in this video we are going to learn all about a web debugging proxy tool called proxyman which solves all of these problems for you and makes you a better debugger and if you don't trust me let me prove you wrong welcome to the episode one of bug fix and chill let's go the best way to understand how this proxyman tool works is to think of it as a middleman between you and the internet. So whenever you perform any network operation like doing a curl command or going to a URL, that request goes to proxyman where it can manipulate that request and then sends out to the internet. And once it receives the request, it does the same thing and passes it back to your browser. So from the proxyman tool, you have this advantage of manipulating the request or the response and debug things accordingly if we go to the proximant tool this is how it looks on the right you can see all the applications in your computer which is making network requests and you can also sort them by domain here you have all the network requests right now which is going on in your computer you can see all the requests here and the responses here. For this demo, I have created a web application which is just a simple app which queries a particular API, gets a list of users and render them. So let's refresh this page and the response is from myjsonserver.tipico.com. So now if we go back to Proximan, we will see all these requests which has happened in the last couple of seconds and we found this API. Let's quickly pin this to the top and this is the request the browser has made and we can see the header here and the body here so for the first example we would learn how we can add a breakpoint and change the request or the response on the go for that we would just right click go to tool and then to breakpoint the proximant breakpoint tool lets you select a array of HTTP header methods also lets you add a wildcard and whenever that rule matches you can set a breakpoint to the request or response so for this particular demo let's only listen to the responses and let's go let's notice the first name of the user which is jordan second is riley so if i refresh it it goes to the proxy man and it stopped in the breakpoint for the response so if i look at the body which comes from the internet it says jordan and let's change it to ram and let's change riley to ron and now if we execute this we can go back and see the response has been modified so if we look at the response in Chrome Dev Tool, you can see they are already modified. So this is a very interesting tool where you can see how your application behaves to certain changes in the API without doing much coding and simply tweaking the network input and output. Now, one interesting use case for this breakpoint tool is when you have an application front end and you want to check for different combinations or different properties in the API payload, how your front end behaves. And just with a few clicks, you can tweak the response or the request without even leaving the editor. The next debugging tool we are gonna look at is my favorite and it's called Map Local. So imagine you're a junior developer and this is a website you're responsible for so just let's pay some attention to the api schema if you look at it for every request to users we get an array of objects and each object has an id name avatar and a theme so if we go to the api response it kind of looks like this and if we go to the schema the schema kind of look like this so suppose your product manager comes up with some requirement and then say maybe there's some changes to this api and we are gonna introduce a new property called hobbies which is a array of strings and it would contain something like this now a lot of junior developers are under the false assumption that they are kind of blocked until the back end is ready so if there is any change to the api and your working on the front end for it all you need is the schema as long as you know what kind of change is about to come you can quickly go to the map local tool in proximan and make those changes now let's refresh this page go back to proximan and we would be able to see all the requests which has been made to this api let's right click go to tools and map local and here we'll see the complete response which came from the api now based on the new spec we got from our product manager let's go and add a hobbies property here and let's seed some sample data so for this user jordan we are passing in reading coding and gaming so now if we save this 
close and go back to the application and do refresh you can see that it's already showing the hobbies if we quickly look at the network request you'll be able to see in the response we already get hobbies the main difference between breakpoint and map local is map local can be configured once and then you can forget breakpoint actually stops on every execution and lets you look at the data and manipulate it so now every time i refresh i have new hobbies and i can go ahead and develop the ui and not wait for the backend the next debugging tool which we are going to look at is called map remote which is very similar to the last one we just saw with a small difference so let's say based on your product requirement you have mocked the response of the api using map local and you have developed the ui the current api which is in production looks somewhat like this and meanwhile let's assume the backend has already come up with a new api which looks like this which is the same api with the addition which we were expecting but this is not available in your local or maybe in production. It's only available, let's assume, in some dev server. In that case, as long as you have an URL, you can go to Proxyman, make a request to this API and configure it to return a response from another API. Let's see how it is done. So once again, we'll go to Proxyman. This time we will right click, go to tools and we'll go to map remote. Once we are in map remote, we can configure exactly when the rule gets triggered. For our example, it would be just a get call to this URL and we would update the map to with the URL where we want to return the response from. And for the path, we would want to hit the new API which we saw in this example, which ends in user dash v2. So now save this, close this and let's go back to the application, refresh and see if it works. Okay, this request errors out and if we we go to proximan that is because we have entered the colon slash slash here which is not expected so now let's go back and refresh and now we can see all these data which is actually not coming from the api but redirected from a api v2 for me personally the most favorite part of this map remote debugging tool is when i have to set up an application in my local which probably requests running 10 docker containers and i need a bunch of services just to set up the backend and then run some services to get some stub data now i can just point my local backend api to the production and skip all those steps and just focus on the ui which i'm trying to work on so the next debugging tool we are going to talk about is going to be like music to your ears for all those control freaks out there we saw a couple of tools where you can completely manipulate an api response but proximan also gives you an option to completely have control on the request and response from javascript but before that, please take a moment and like and subscribe to this video. I want this channel to reach as many people as possible so you know what to do. Now let's jump back on and see how we can modify our request or response with JavaScript. So we are back at our application and let's go back to Proxyman. We'll once again go to tools and this time let's go to scripting. And here you can see there is a console on the right. If I save this and go ahead and run our application, whenever this pattern is matched, the request and the response would run and we can see all our logs for whatever we have logged here if you have worked with node.js express you might be familiar to these kind of functions and we can actually access the request or the response objects and modify keys on that for example you can access request.header and add a new header or you can completely modify the body here Although I don't use the script editor a lot, maybe if you are a QA engineer or a security researcher, you might have some interesting use cases where you want to have granular control into your request or the response. Maybe let me know down in the comment if you can think of some use cases for which the script editor can be really helpful. The last debugging tool which we'll see today is network conditions. And if you are thinking that, wait, we already have a network condition option in the dev tool, why do we need Proximan for this? wait right there let me tell you how proximans network debugging tool is way better than this so as you can see here in chrome dev tool we have a bunch of presets but then the problem with these presets are the moment you close dev tools they are all reset whereas for proximan because it's the middleman between you and the network you can add this network condition not just to this website but to all network conditions which is going out and coming into your computer so let's go back to proximan and go to the tool called network conditions and here you can see we can set this for a particular host and we can also say apply system wide so as you can guess already we can add custom regex here and apply our network throttling to very specific use cases so let's add back our host and add slow networks hit save and let's refresh this page 
So now we can emulate what is happening here even with the dev tools closed if we refresh it. And even with dev tools closed, we can go ahead and refresh our application and see the network latency being applied. Now before we jump onto the recap, here's a giveaway for you. This video is by the way not sponsored at all by any means, but I loved using the product so much when I decided on making this video, I reached out to the developer who created Proxyman and they were kind enough to give a bunch of licenses with a 10% discount. So if you go to Proxyman today and use the coupon Proxyman underscore Shivalik, you get a 10% discount which comes to around $28 discount in their yearly plan so check that out now to quickly recap we learned how we can add breakpoints to a request or a response in proxyman we also learned how we can mock api using the map local feature we also learned how we can use map remote and take a url a and configure it to get a response from a url b we also learned how we can use javascript scripting for playing around with the request or the response and lastly, we learned how we can tweak the network throttling. So out of these five debugging features, let me know down in the comments, which is your favorite debugging tool. And if you like this video, probably you'll like my next video too. If you are from the future, you'll see it somewhere here. And if you are watching this video before the next one goes out, it's going to be on advanced Chrome developer tool debugging. So I hope you have a good day and see you later.